Coach, uh, you were part of the All-Star Halftime Ceremony. What was it like to get honored with some of the best to ever play the game and any notable interactions with other NBA legends or like starstruck moments uh, during the weekend? Uh, there, it was surreal. Um, there was a lot of talent in that room. Um, there was a lot of guys who could score the ball. Um, and there was a guy that could pass the ball extremely well, um, John Stockton. But it was just great. Um, there was, you know, a little talk of uh, the small forwards, uh, you know, would, would beat up on the guards. And then there was a separation of big guards and, and the small guards. <laughs> um, so that was kind of fun. Um, but I think a lot of people have seen that moment of when MJ walked in and challenged uh, Magic to a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think MJ was a little serious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, it was, you know, you're talking about the, the best to ever do it uh, in one room. Um, it was cool to see Dennis Rodman show up on time, um, but he was late. Um, but it, it was just incredible because um, you have the 75 best to ever do it. Um, it was just remarkable. Um, there was a little chatter about, you know, missing Kobe, you know, there because this was a moment, you know, uh, to have someone like Kobe there with Dr. J, with Michael, with LeBron, you know, just the best to ever do at Mount, you know, Mount Rushmore. So, um, but Jerry West, the logo's there. Um, but I thought this, the Boston Celtics did it the best. Paul and KG were great. Ray was great. Um, Kevin McHale, there was quite a few Boston Celtics there. Um, so, but it was it was just a surreal moment. I thought uh, Damian Lillard said it best. It was just like it's not real, you know, um, because when you play the game, it's to to win uh, and to do your best. And and at the end of the day, you never think about um, being mentioned with some of the best to ever do it. So, um, in a nutshell, that's that's what happened.